were still in the bath area because this was a large part of social life. People came here to bathe, they came here to cool off, they came here to exercise, they came here to get a massage. And when they went into the baths, frequently there was a wise man who could engage them in the latest in the thinking of the times, the latest in the theory, the latest in the religion, if there was any. We went first to the cool pool, we came through the medium pool, now we're in the hot pool, where they could even get a massage and practice a little of their martial arts. They did have them in those days. Now the city that you're seeing is Greco-Roman, so that makes it about 2,000 years old, and some Byzantine on top of that, which was 400, 700. And in the distance, we see the main drag of the city, which had the columns, and on top of the columns were the busts of the gods. First it was the Hellenic gods of Greece, then came the gods of Rome, and then after that, the Byzantine turned everything into Christianity. They took the heads of the gods off, but they left the columns. In the distance, you see the theater, where we were a moment ago, where they ca carried out their cultural, uh, very well-developed and extensive cultural programs for the people in the evening. There wasn't much to do. You could go to the bass house, you could go to the theater, and once in a while go to the Hippodrome and watch a chariot race or watch some animals kill people and so forth. But otherwise, it was pretty um, mediocre in terms of excitement compared to what we have.